two, three. Welcome back to Dr. Walls and Friends. And we were just talking about with Jose, oh, Sensei Hernandez, just how society is changing. And so children, how important martial arts can be in children's lives, but I would say really in anybody's life. In anybody's life, really. Uh, mostly now with the bullying stuff and everything else. Oh, yes. Uh, I get a lot of calls. Uh, I do a radio talk show okay. in Puerto Rico oh. every Monday from uh, tonight 15, so 15 hours. Okay. Uh, and I talk about the benefit. Uh -huh. uh, I talk about a lot about women's self defense. Yes. You know how they help women to be activated. A lot of the effects going on today and they're being pushed around. Yes. Uh, a lot of domestic problems. Mm -hmm. And it goes along with the uh, society, along with the uh, bullying yes. with the students, you yes. know, with, with the kids nowadays in school mm -hmm. and any place else. And our bullying is all over the place. Mm -hmm. Whether you're in the neighborhood. Or whether you're working movies, you yes. want to get somebody yes. to bully you. So it's important that we, we emphasize that martial art, it gives you the opportunity to get it, not to get to the physical part of it, yes. but to use more in your, your mind mm -hmm. and think a little bit more about how you can do self defense mm -hmm. without getting physical. Mm -hmm. And for me, verbally, no, verbal for me is mostly a way of getting out of the situation okay. and ignoring what they tell me. Yes. Don't don't let no let them catch up to you to tell you what well, you this or like that or don't let that happen. Yes. To you. That's such and, a powerful message. And it's it's mostly remember self defense is just physical, it's a mental part of it. Yes. You think, you know, when you want to go down to that level, mm -hmm. then you want to argue with the person. Mm -hmm. if, if you are okay you're doing what you're doing, just keep on walking. Yes. As long as they don't touch you, that's a different story. Now the element of surprise gets more involved physically. Mm -hmm. But really, really in reality, self-defense is how you see things, where you walk, what you do, who you talk to, how you express yourself. Mm -hmm. That tells you a lot about mm -hmm. the person who confronts you, or even you confront you. Yes. So I'm thinking as you're saying that by knowing martial arts, and it gives you an opportunity to respond to a situation instead of reacting to a situation. Exactly. exactly. You get to learn more, you get to learn how the physical aspect is, how far can you go. Okay. Uh, remember that any, any type of sport that is physical, mm -hmm. you don't know it yourself yet until you confront yourself in a situation where you anger takes over. So the more smart we learn how anger should not take over ourselves because then we'll go escalate to the next level. Yes. So that's why I'm saying self-defense speech does it to physical part, it's a mental part, it's spiritual. And learning to portray and learning how to look at the person mm -hmm. as a human being just like you. Yes. You know, when you want to confront that situation where you want to hurt this person, mm -hmm. you know, that's, that's the martial art. Yes. I call that as a martial art, it's a self-defense. Okay. I'm defending myself without gotcha. hitting anybody. I love it. Now speak a little bit about the spiritual part of martial arts. Well, the spirit, well it keeps you metal. Mm -hmm. It keeps you on, on the edge. Okay. It keeps you Vulnerable mm -hmm. with a lot of things, vulnerable with a lot of things, but at the same time, it's a shame you have to stay humble okay. all the time. Okay. No matter what the situation is, you still be humble mm -hmm. and just say, you know, how are you? How are you doing? And it, 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 it's really part of it. And what's good about this is that it gives you a sense where you take your time and if you have five or ten minutes, you can concentrate on yourself, concentrate on the world, what's happening around you, and then you focus on that. That makes you feel like it all comes together. When you want to be able to emotionalize everything that's happening now, this quote is going on. Yes. You know? So it's really, it's like going to church, mm -hmm. praying to God, mm -hmm. you know, asking Him, you know, for His help, asking Him, you know, bless me every day. Yes. It's a blessing every time you get up in the morning. Mm -hmm. You know, so you mm -hmm. gotta say thank you, God, for the morning and another day of life. Yes. It's the same thing. Yeah. I love it. Definitely. Now, Dr. Walls and Friends, usually I have a tambourine. I have to make sure I start carrying my tambourine when I do these <laughs> interviews. When we hear these divine and powerful truths, then I usually I'll shake that tambourine to that. And I love that idea that the martial arts provide you with really learning how to become still and be present in the moment. Exactly. Exactly. Don't, don't fantasize things. That, don't, don't hallucinate things. That just yes. You know, the reality is you know, you both be on the ground, mm -hmm. and you have to focus as well. Mm -hmm. This is how it is now. Yes. What would I want to do differently? Mm -hmm. And 
not change it, but modify it. Yes. We can't ever change it. Right. But we can do something different and modify it. Mm -hmm. you know, it's like the child. You know, he's just, if he's a bad child, you can't tell him to stop being bad. Right. Um, you can tell him why he cannot be bad. Okay. It's different when you tell him and you explain. Exactly. Exactly. And he won't explain more. That's right. He explained more. Exactly. Because I often tell parents or teachers, don't call a child bad. The action that they did may not be one that you like. Right. And then provide an alternative action exactly. for that. Exactly. But the child themselves is not bad. Right. And something that, you know, we, we've never, we were not born bad, but we're good. Right. You know, we just want to right. mm -hmm. But we got to know exactly when, how, and where to expose ourselves that we don't have to limit ourselves. See, now I know why you old sensei. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's good about martial art. You get yes. to learn a lot of people. I, I got, you know, I've been blessed to learn a lot of martial artists. Pioneers, grandmasters, who I was growing up with, who mm -hmm. I used to see on TV. Now I'm sharing the same stage. Wow. That's, that's what music was. I'm sure that's, that's kind of humbling as well. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Because these are people you should see. Yes. And their legacy is all the kind. Mm -hmm. And they get to meet them. Yes. 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 And they get to meet them. Yes. 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 That, that you would like to share that might be somewhat entertaining? Well, entertaining. Uh huh. Not, not really. Not really. But it's so funny because I, I, I believe in you know, things that happen for a purpose. Okay. For a reason, yes. for a purpose. Now, in the year 2001, I was in New York. I was just getting packing up my stuff to go to Puerto Rico. Mm -hmm. And I, lived, I did my last demonstration okay. uh, at Madison Square Garden. Uh -huh. Grand Master Arrow Bank, I remember that. You were all around the South Carolina. Okay. And guess who was our guest there? Chuck Norris. Really? Uh, and I had seen him twice. That day, he was, for me, it was an honor because I got to do a demonstration. Okay. Just a demonstration. Uh -huh. From the Chuck Norris, one of my idols. Back wow. Back then, Bruce Lee and, and did the film, you know, into the track. Yes. And that was awesome. Yeah. So that for me is the entertainment part of it, and I think the only part that I really uh, kept me going okay. in the most part. Okay. You can always accomplish that. Yes. But that was one of my biggest goals. That's wonderful. Yeah. And see, as someone who has watched martial arts films their whole life, I can understand to an extent how exciting that must have been. It is. It is. It's thrilling. Well, you're going to do some demonstrations for us. I'm going to be doing a little bit of what my particular style means, just so it is. Okay. We're going to work a little bit. I'm mostly being an expert in weaponry. Okay. Uh, and I can do a lot of things with weapons, you know, even household weapons, street weapons. All right. I'm going to do a little bit of that. And then, uh, what my particular style is like. Okay. Uh, it's more strict. Yes. Okay. Great. Well, before we get ready to go to the floor, how about you say a little something in Spanish to your students and then back in Puerto Rico? Aquellos estudiantes de Puerto Rico, muchas gracias por la oportunidad. Nos vemos pronto. Sabe que estoy en Yauco. Se puede comunicar conmigo al 787-267-7282. Gracias una vez más y estamos allí disponibles. Mi casa es su casa. Muchas gracias. All right. So we're going to go to the floor now and see some demonstrations. All right.